How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are checking out one of the 2023 units who got some of the most hate on his EZA release, and that is the Fizz Transforming Vegeta. Right? One of those biggest issues was the fact that he did release around the time that we got introduced to the short content AoE meta right and he is a unit that does need to stack so fortunately for us we do have some difficult events now that we can stack in so we're gonna throw him out here and of course Vegeta is taking a super turn one when he is stunned or sealed rather but at least it is him and we got a couple hits in before he took that super so we actually only took like 80k that's not too bad so the only thing about this fight for Vegeta is Vegeta is not an infinite stacker right like some of the others will be using in this team so we'll need to prioritize getting seven or Orbs with him so we can get at least two to three supers every turn and we do get this two supers this turn um we did get seven orbs so can we get the third yes we get the third so this is the trick we can't get sealed at all by this phase um which means i may prioritize getting out of this phase quicker um rather than stalling it out to stack more just because i can't risk him getting sealed if he gets sealed at any point we could be in trouble because we can't have him missing stacks because once he achieves blue, he stops stacking. There we go. All right. So having you, so so the knowing that we did bring units like the Goku and Vegeta here, who will eventually be able to transform into Vegito. Um, but the thing is, right? They deal a lot of damage, and they are STR types. So that'll kind of help us whittle down the health. We also brought Kefla, um, because of course, right? We all know what Kefla do. And of course, she gets sealed right as I'm talking her up. Okay. Well. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead. Let's do this. Alright, let's drop King Vegeta in here. I was going to try to keep Kefla on, but with her being sealed... Yeah, let's just do this. Perfect. There we go. The nice thing is, beyond this turn, right, it's a little easier to get his two, uh, <clears throat> the Fizz Vegeta's two supers, because I think he only needs five uh, key seers after this, so hopefully we can keep that up. All right, nice. There we go. And our Vegeta takes a super. All right, though, after all those supers plus the hits, I think he should be okay here, actually. Oh yeah, double the hits, excellent. Okay, and of course, you know, we did bring the King Vegeta for support, ideally. So I, I want to try to time this out so that way we can get King Vegeta on rotation when we make the Fizz Orb transformation for uh, Vegeta when he reaches blue. Because that'll kind of be like his best possible turn, right? Having King Vegeta on that turn with him. All right, so here we go. We have the transformation in Super Saiyan 2. And our Rage Vegeta is sealed. Uh, that is slightly unfortunate, but at least... There are no attacks in slot uh, three. We don't have to worry about him taking any damage. There we go. We get seven spheres there, so we will get the double super at least. Um, so you know what? This actually works out. It just means that the Rage Vegeta is going to suffer a bit. Right? If he gets knocked later in the fight, we could be in trouble. There we go. All right, and Tech Vegeta takes the super again. All right, so we already know we're gonna take nothing here from the super, uh, just like the last one did. Yep, double digits, excellent, so. All right, so we're getting on up there with the stacks. This is our second turn of stacking. We do get a double super since we did get the seven key spheres. Can we park the third again? Yes, we do, excellent. All right, so we already got some good stacks going on here. This is perfect. And look at that, double digits. Excellent. So, right, again, I, I, I mean, again, give the unit what he needs and he will provide for you. It's what I said when he released. It's why I said he was good for fights like um, Omega, as long as you can kind of mitigate the, um, the STR phase. He was really good for Sin, and Sin wasn't out yet. Uh, Sin was, we didn't have Omega on Global yet. Uh, when he released on global, so he was really good for the send fight. Uh, 
you, you just gotta give them time to build. That's that's the only thing. Um, and so fights here like Buhan and some of the ninth anniversary fights, I feel like he can do well. He may struggle for a bit with supers, but I think his max defense is still like, like he still has some of that nuking passive in his uh, defense uh, towards the end. Um, so I mean, with the right amount of key spheres, he could t he'll tank most normals. He'll still struggle with like Gogeta's AOE and with you know, maybe a super or two, but if you can mitigate those supers, then you're fine. And the reality is, you know, those ninth anniversary supers, they're killing everybody anyways. So, I mean, it's really silly to hold that against them, in my opinion. Let's, let's grab the six here. Okay, so we will get five. Um, and like I said, I'm pretty sure we, at this point, we only need five in order to get his uh, second super. Nice. Okay, and Vegeta takes the super now. 180k. Yeah, that's to be expected. Um, he does have... This phase hits really hard. It's the hardest hitting phase, I feel like. There we go. Alright, we're not going to do anything, but we do get the second super. Can we get a third here? No, but we do take double digits, which is actually really nice, um, considering, uh, you know, just considering that we are type disadvantaged and we haven't been able to attack lower him yet. Nice. Okay, Kefla's getting her dodge. Love it. Perfect. All right, so here's the part that's going to worry me. Rage Vegeta. I feel like he's gonna get slapped hard by by this guy. All right, we're just gonna have to pray for that double super, or pray that he doesn't eat the super. Oh man, actually, now that I think about it, if he eats the super, we're that we're done for. There we go, we get the extra super with Vegeta. We actually sh should be able to proc some extra supers because uh, there is a Goku on this rotation with the STR Vegito. Excellent. There goes the super once again. Okay, so we're going to take a bit again here. 100k, this is going to be a bit scary. I don't know, with zero build, can Rage Vegeta survive the singular hit he has to take? Ooh, 100k, we barely survive. Alright, so we enter in God form. This is scary. What if we do this now? Okay, this might work. Alright, let's grab the 11 here. Alright, so we can get the 5 here with the Vegeta, which means we can at least get the second super. And let's take that. Okay, this is a huge risk. 30k, that's a lot. Oh, but we're okay now. Okay, so now we just need to make sure that the super is not on Fizz Vegeta. Okay, we are stacking good. We are stacking right. Um, I'm hoping... Okay. Not looking good. He doesn't super King Vegeta, who could have tanked it. Here we go. We get an extra super. Excellent. Hopefully we can proc the hidden potential, right? Because we are on God. So our next transformation is our final transformation. Double digits, nice. Okay, no super. We're good. Uh, and we already know that Vegeta takes 100k here, but it, depending on how many supers we get... Uh-oh. Uh oh We might be in trouble. Oh, thank goodness he didn't super this turn. Oh, wow. Okay, sweet. Okay, so... By the skin of our teeth, we make it out of that rotation. But I don't think we're making a, this one. Not with one HP. Oh my goodness. 
All right, so here's what I think we need to do. Uh, let's transform Vegito. Give it to me now. This is what I'm supposed to do, right? Yep. Thanks, Vegeta. Since I'm the fusion of Vegeta and Kakarot, I guess that makes me Vegeta. And this is Super Vegito. All righty. So we got the heal. So that'll be helpful there. Uh, oh, perfect. Six orbs with Kefla. And then we can send off uh, Tag Vegeta. No, actually, Kefla might not even get to attack here. I'm realizing that now. Vegito might just kill with the counters. It's a shame we couldn't build him up more, right? Um, obviously, being a stacking unit, we could get him to some silly numbers, but it was either that or die because we had no HP. Although, looking at it now, he's not supering, so we might have actually been alright. There we go. Okay, sweet. So Kefla does get to attack, so hopefully we can get a couple extra supers out of her. There's one. There's two. Alright, we we're, we're just building her attack so she can actually help us just clear through some phases later. Get third? Yeah, there we go. Alright, making up for that seal turn one. Nice. Okay, and then we still get one more stack out of the Tech Vegeta. That works out. Alrighty, excellent. So. Now we transform into blue, which means we're going to get his full passive up because he will change all key spheres to Fizz this turn. And he locked King Vegeta, okay. But at least the super attack is in slot two. All right, so, oh, look at that. 1.1 million we got him up to, right? And that's not even getting three supers every turn. So that's actually pretty good. Right, and so now with all of those orbs, we're going to have all of that uh, for the extra attack and defense. So we actually should tank pretty well. Um, and we're also going to do quite a bit of damage on this turn because we're also getting the Dokkan attack. So actually, this worked out kind of nicely. And like I said, we got that King Vegeta rotation with that support, which is what we want. So let's see, how much damage do we actually do here? Nice, 21 million, we get the extra for 16 million. Sweet. Excellent. Oh, we get a normal, 2.6 million normal, nice. All right, so how do we take this super here? All right, nice, double digits. But of course, this is on the all key series turn, so maybe that's to be expected. Um, that might not happen often, and I think this phase still hits for like 1.4, uh, on the super, so, you know, it is dangerous. Oh, yep, there it goes. Look at how much damage we took. Good lord, I can't believe we actually survived that. Good thing we had the Dokkan attack. Okay. Alright, so let's drop Vegito here. Okay, let's transform Vegeta. You need more than calculations to understand a safe. All righty, excellent. So we can just go ahead and grab this. And grab that with Kefla. I doubt we're getting to Kefla this rotation with her being locked off, so let's just... Now that Fizz Vegeta is fully transformed, we don't really need to stall anything out. We can kind of blitz the rest of this while just relying on the defense that he's getting on his orbs. Nice. Okay, perfect. Okay, not too bad. 
Alright, let's see here. Okay. Hmm. He's got nine. Maybe we... Yeah, let's give him one more stack. Alright, here we go. We'll get six here. And then that way we can grab these other AGL orbs with Vegeta. King Vegeta, that is, so... Alright, this works out. Uh, letting Vegeta tank this is probably pretty helpful. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Alright, not bad. And we get the extra super. Perfect. <laughs> we get the, of course the crit is on the normal too. Okay. Huh. Let's just do the active and let's get out of this phase. With this, have a taste of Super Vegeta's big body attack! Excellent. All right, so not quite dead, so but I'm pretty sure Vegeta will be able to handle this. Or Vegeta, rather. And let's grab this. Perfect. So he's gonna get stunned, um, but that's okay. Oh, not quite what I thought was gonna happen. Alright, so the crits on Vegito this time will be a lot stronger than before because, of course, we've got uh, the super attack first. So this actually actually could do a bit of damage here. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And then we get another one. Beautiful. Alright, so now we just need this guy to not die. He's only got to take normals. He's... <laughs> okay, well, at least it was only 100k. Alright, so... 700k, <laughs> let's just, let's just transform him. Oh, you need more than calculations to understand a safe. All right, excellent. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, with eight key spheres here, yeah, let's let him do that. We don't want him to take the super. And then we'll get seven with Kepler. <laughs> so, I, I mean, Kepler has been kind of useless. So 8.9, not bad. Okay, at this point, right, outside of that big attack turn, right, he's not going to be here for attack. Oh, we do get the double, di uh, we do get the extra hit in, so 9 million on that one. Of course, if we could get more orbs, he'd be looking better. Oh, but we do get the 10 million? Okay, not bad. And so he actually finishes this phase for us. Nice, which means we get to save the Vegeta's active skill. Excellent. Alright, sweet. This actually worked out really nicely. Alright, let's grab that with Vegeta, because we know he'll tank that super... Um, I'll take that with Vegito, and then, I guess, nine orbs with, uh, King Vegeta. Perfect. Beautiful. 100k there. And then now we get to deal some damage here with Vegeta. Alright, here we go. We get another one. Peace. I, I forgot how fun he can be when we actually stack up a little bit more. Peace. Okay. 
I was hoping we would get another turn, but never mind. Vegeta just decided to be like, no, I got this. All right, so there you have it, folks. There is the Fizz transforming Vegeta against the Buhan Red Zone. We know that this guy hits up to 1.7 million in the later phases, and we were tanking quite well to the point where he basically took double digits the entire fight. Um, again, this is what I was talking about right when he initially released. Wait for the long content to come. It will come, and then units like this will get a chance to be useful. I'm not saying he's the best unit to use here. I'm not even saying he's the best on this team, but he is an option, right? If you need to take on this event, you need certain characters to fill out your team, and, you know, you have the Vegeta units, you can run him, and he will run pretty smoothly on this team. His only hiccup is if he gets sealed turn one or turn two in that Fizz phase in the beginning, but otherwise allowed to build you see we can get there we got ours up to 1.1 1 .1, uh, mil upwards of 1.7 depending on how many orbs we get right um and that was actually pretty good we didn't even get all of our stacks every single turn we still had a few turns where we you know missed one or two because we didn't proc the hidden potential so we could have actually had him much higher before this but we still did pretty darn good in my opinion so guys that is it for the video if you like the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let us know what unit would you like to see next in the boo red zone event specifically the boo han event right speaking of older units that need to stack it's the perfect place for them it's a difficult fight it's a great place to test them out and see where they are in 2024 so let us know in the comments down below otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha